Man, do I have a story to tell you guys. Um, so, obviously this is a Valley Gear Andy Williams from uh, the signature from Every Time I Die. If you guys are a fan, this is why you click on this video. But, check it out. Well, Tony, it, looks, it doesn't look like his signature. We'll get into that in a second. But, um, so, obviously you have the Seafoam Green. Alligator Enigma, which you know gives the the shape of an old retro retro seventies design. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, and then you have your bird's eye roasted maple neck, outer fingerboard I should say, block black black block and lace. Fishman fluence with the push pole. Obviously, all fishmans have that. Different voicings. So. They had two colors. They had a seafoam green and a pink, salmon pink. And the weird, the cool thing about those is they actually have a gorilla bucker by um, Balagir and a thunder lips in the neck. And whenever I bought this, I was messing with the fishman because I thought the guitar was just modded to have a fishman, um, just one pickup, and you know they change the, the pick guard and everything have that one route for the pickup so i'm like okay i'll i'll just you know hit up alligator and get a, a new you know new gorilla bucker and new thunder lips so i'll see what i like you know because I, I i know i like the gorilla bucker because it's in my semi-custom um espada so i'm like well, we'll see i'll see how the fishman is so i got it played the fishman for a little bit wasn't a big fan, right? It was too too gamey for me. Um, I didn't. I wasn't a fan of that HT lift that they have in there. Um, so I was doing some research on the Fishman on the different voicings, and I noticed that you could actually take that lift out and put it on a lower gain setting. So I was like, let's try it. So I took the pick guard off, and I noticed that there was no neck route. So I'm like, oh shoot. This is an Andy Williams signature. Um, so I took a picture of it, sent it over to the guys at Balagare, and uh, Joe kind of gave me some insight. He uh, pretty much said, hey, you know, this is very cool. You shouldn't be worried. This was and is his signature. Um, he said there was five guitars before the production run um, that were designed with just the one humbucker. Uh, three of them had the nickel hardware and a Fishman, and two of them had black hardware and a prototype pickup, which I don't know what that prototype pickup was. Uh, you could think that they, are, they were the Gorilla Bucker. You could think there's something else. But on top of that, um, after we found that out, you know, what's really, really cool... Oh, before that, um, I did put on the lower gain setting, put it back together, and obviously... The coolest thing about this is not only is it one of five that are like this. Let's see if it focuses. Focus. It's serial number one, which is cool. So this was the first one that was made. So super rare. I mean, I was on searching for, I want to say two, and a half years, three maybe, for a seafoam green. Um, so, yeah. I used to have the pink one. Pink one was great. I still wanted the seafoam green, though. I just love seafoam green. So, yeah. There's the, the story of the Balagare Enigma. Pretty cool. I might actually do these with a lot of my guitars. I haven't decided yet, but if you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Now you have some stories behind the the guitars. I, I know there's really not a lot of videos out for Balagair, so I don't know. We'll see. Might do some videos on my other one, too. Peace, guys. Enjoy your day. Be safe out there.